We all need electricity. It lights up our homes, powers our toys, runs the TV, and charges our favourite things. With just a flick of a switch, it's right there when we need it. But where does electricity come from? The National Grid brings electricity to our homes from power stations all over the country. These power stations use different energy sources to make the electricity. Can you name some of these energy sources? Coal, oil, gas, wind, wave, tidal, solar, nuclear, and geothermal. Some of these energy sources are bad for the environment and are called fossil fuels. Most of these were formed from plants and animals that lived millions of years ago, even before the dinosaurs. Let's see how long ago that was. This is today. 200,000 years ago, the first humans appeared. 66 million years ago, we said goodbye to the last dinosaurs. 250 million years ago, the very first dinosaurs appeared. And at 360 million years, were coal forests and swamps. After millions of years, the remains of these animals and plants formed coal, oil and gas. We burn these fuels to make electricity, but one day oil, gas and coal will run out. They're known as non-renewable energies. When we burn fossil fuels, they release carbon dioxide into our atmosphere, contributing to climate change and air pollution. Whereas electricity made from wind, sunlight, waves, tides, and geothermal is much kinder to the environment and much better for our health. These energies are called renewable because they'll never run out. We're lucky because we have many of these renewable energy sources in Cornwall. We can use geothermal down here too. But what is geothermal? Geo means earth and thermal means heat. Therefore geothermal energy is heat from the earth. Geothermal energy is usually produced in areas where rocks and water have been heated from magma deep underground. And geothermal energy plants, like those in Iceland, are often found near volcanoes. But are there volcanoes in Cornwall? No. But Cornwall is a perfect place to source geothermal energy as its rocks underground are hotter than anywhere else in the UK. We have a particular type of rock called granite. Granite's special because it produces heat. The deeper you go, the hotter it gets and Cornwall has loads of it. Cornwall's main geothermal site is United Downs near Redroof. It's here we will drill two very deep holes to access the heat from an underground reservoir at 4.5 kilometres. Let's see how deep that really is. This is the Eiffel Tower in Paris, which is 324 metres tall. If we had 14 Eiffel Towers and buried them underground one on top of the other, then this is how deep the hole really is. We will drill two deep holes called wells. The deepest well will be 4.5 kilometres. This is the production well, and it's used to bring hot water to the surface. The other well will be 2.5 kilometers deep, and it's called the injection well. The injection well is used to put the water back underground once the heat has been used to make electricity. The water will move in a continuous loop, always reheating as it flows from the bottom of the injection well to the production well. Let me introduce you to Miss Molecule. She'll show you how the process works. Let's go and meet her down underground. Hello, I'm Miss Molecule. I am a H2O water molecule. My special job is to help the geothermal energy get to the surface so it can be used to create electricity. Let me show you the work I do every day. Firstly, my buckets are full of heat, so I need to go up the production well and empty them into the heat exchanger. Are you ready? Here, back at the surface, I deliver the heat to the heat exchanger, which turns a working fluid into steam. This steam turns the turbines, which make electricity. Follow me so I can show you where I get the heat from. As I 
go down through the fault, I collect the heat the granite has produced. And the deeper I go towards the reservoir, the more heat there is. Here we are back at the underground reservoir where I started, filling up my buckets with more heat, ready to take to the surface once more. I can do this forever, I never get tired, and the heat will always be replaced by the granite. I will say goodbye at this point as I have lots to do, but have a safe trip back to the surface. Here back at the surface, we can follow the heat to see how it's made into electricity and is delivered to our homes. And remember, the next time you walk down the street at night, turn on your light, switch on the TV, or plug in your favorite thing at home, Take a moment to think about where the electricity is coming from. It could be coming from geothermal energy right under your feet. Hopefully one day we'll all be using renewable energy for our electricity to ensure the earth remains a clean and beautiful place. <laughs>